happy Friday, my Young and the Restless fans. Yes, we are at the end of the week. We got another episode to talk about with this cliffhanger, so let's get to it. First, we see Jack and Diane welcome their guests to the reception. Kyle officiates his parents' vow renewal, and Tucker tells Audra to rekindle things with Kyle. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for October 6th, and without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So the episode begins over at Crimson Lights where Lauren is enjoying her morning coffee. Phyllis spots Lauren and can't hide her frustration when she notices that she's holding a dress for Diane, Phyllis's longtime rival. Girl, give it a rest. Phyllis expressed her disbelief, feeling like a knife has been plunged into her back. Uh, Phyllis, Lauren has to run a business. She's making money by making a dress. Now, Lauren explained that Jack asked her for a favor regarding the dress, leaving Phyllis somewhat speechless. Phyllis humorously suggests Lauren should have gave Jack a dunce cap. Now, Lauren advises Phyllis, look, just let go of your grudge against Diane if she wants to change her image. Phyllis remains adamant that Diane is a horrible person and says that she will not attend the reception. Lauren informs Phyllis that Chloe will be delivering the dress, prompting Lauren to ask about Phyllis' work with Daniel. Now, Phyllis reveals her concern that she's under Daniel's microscope, and Lauren reminds her that she should be grateful for his support. Absolutely, Lauren. I totally agree. Now, Chloe arrives with the dress, and Lauren reminds Phyllis not to cause any problems. Now, we're over at the GCAC dining room, where Billy is surprised to see Tucker still in town. Now, Billy brings up the dirt he has on Tucker and his previous attempt to frame him for embezzlement. Now, Tucker asserts, look, I'm sticking around for my family, not for revenge or for the Abbots. Billy remains skeptical and wants Tucker Tucker to leave Genoa City for good. Tucker comments on Billy's mercenary nature, and you know what? It doesn't look like Tucker is going anywhere anytime soon. Now thinks about the situation between Audra and Kyle, looking to use that to his advantage. So he texts Audra that she needs to reignite the fire with Kyle Abbott. So now we're over at the Abbott Estate. Tracy and Jack discuss the day's plans. Diane is eagerly anticipating her dress arrival and express concerns about Phyllis sabotaging the celebration. Now, Tracy and Jack reassure Diane that Phyllis is on probation. Diane believes Phyllis could find a way to cause trouble without breaking any laws. Jack is confident that it's going to be a beautiful day, and then Kyle joins them. Kyle jokes about forgetting that it's the day of the reception and teases about bringing a date. Now, Jack and Diane inquire if Kyle actually means Audra, but he clarifies that their relationship has cooled. Now, Kyle doesn't appreciate his parents treating his relationship like a mere tryst. Diane hoped Kyle would bring Summer for Harrison's sake, emphasizing their amicable co-parenting. Now, Jack and Diane ask Kyle to officiate their vow renewal, and he gladly accepts. Chloe arrives with the dress, and the Abbots discuss becoming a family again. Well, now, Billy arrives and converses with Jack about his great morning. Now, Jack wonders why Tucker is even still in town and asks about his intentions. Billy shows proof of returning embezzled funds and apologizes for doubting him. Jack assures Billy that, look, he didn't doubt him for a second and they share a heartfelt hug. The brothers are still pondering why Tucker remains in town and express concerns about his presence showing up at the celebration. Jack doesn't want Tucker to bother with security and wants the day to focus on love and romance. Diane appears in that gorgeous dress, stunning the Jack and making him feel like she's an angel. Everyone gathers in the garden for the celebration. Kyle, Tracy, and Summer discuss Harrison's excitement. Summer's attention is drawn to Chance, who arrives with Sharon on his arm. Jack welcomes the guest, emphasizing the power of their love story. Then finally, in the lounge, Phyllis finds Danny playing the piano and urges him to continue. Danny eventually takes a break, and Phyllis offers to buy him a drink. They engage
engage in this awkward conversation about their son's feelings toward Phyllis. Danny acknowledges Phyllis's efforts, but admits feeling sad about the whole situation. Phyllis opens up about feeling judged and misunderstood. Wah, blah, wah, blah, blah. Danny encourages Phyllis, look, find happiness within and start believing in yourself. Danny and Phyllis return to the piano where he finishes working on his song. Danny thanks Phyllis for being inspiring in this moment and they share a heartfelt moment holding hands. I wonder where this could lead now. Okay, so there you have it. Your Young and the Restless recap for Friday, October 6, 2023. Stay tuned for the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today. And until the next episode, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.